What's up my baseball people? Crazy Hot Boy E here, the ES for Edwin coming to you with a video. So today I'm gonna be going over a glitch I did. As you can see there, I got 400,000 stubs. And as you can see on the thumbnail of this, I actually completed uh, the first ending program. So we have all 650,000 XP earned. Now, bear with me guys, I am new to MLB The Show. I am on Xbox. I don't know every term. I don't know everything about MLB The Show. Um, I'm just going and playing and learning and watching other videos. So shout out my man Shermanator and shout out Ant Larmstrong. I just discovered him this year. He's been absolutely critical. And this is who I actually got the method from, Ant Larmstrong. I'm just posting a video myself because it was so effective and I finished the program. So. Basically what it is, you don't need double XP to do this. Um, all you have to do, you have to create a character. And so you wanna come to the vault here. Um, it is double XP weekend still, I think, I believe, but you don't have to have double XP. Um, you wanna come here to your loadout and you wanna make a starting pitcher. Um, now I think the ones you wanna choose, um, you can see here, I got a bunch of these. I got all these diamonds. I got diamond for these ones and I got silvers for these ones. Um, I'm not sure exactly which ones are the starting picture. Are here is right here. So che cheesy painter or painted cheese. These are the two that you want to make first, and you want to make these in bronze painter or yeah painter and bronze and then cheese. Um, make these first. Make your creative player starting picture. It's going to help you a lot, ten times easier to do this once you make yourself a starting picture. Now, you can see here, I'm a 93 overall, but I can be like a 96 or a 98, I believe. I don't know what I can be. Uh, let me go back here. So, if we come to Road to the Show and we load up our picture, all right, you're going to see here, boom. There's my picture right there. Oh, that's not even my profile. That's actually, let me go back here. Let me load it this way. So, load, save file. All right, so here we are, June 19th, 2038. All right, so I made it all the way to the year 2038 with my pitcher. And if we look here, he's a 93 overall there. And so what you wanna do is, what I do is I come to this and then I come to my ball player and then I check and load out and then I click on X to view program. And then once I view program, you can see here, I earned all these. So I got a hundred of these. I got the diamond equipment, I got the diamond perk, I got the diamond equipment there, and the gold equipment. All right, so that's earned right there. Now, if I come back here, let me switch this to one. I didn't finish yet. I think I didn't finish the big train yet. So if I look at the big train, yeah, I'm, I'm at 50 right there. So I got to finish out this one. All right, so I just started up, and I got my player made, and he's on, you guys will be on bronze, you guys will be on silver, whatever you have for your starting pitcher. Now, you want to back out of this, come out. Once you get out of this, leave that, go to Diamond Dynasty. Um, once you're in Diamond Dynasty, this is what you got to do. So, first off, you got to make sure your player is a part of your rotation. So, you can see there, my starting pitcher is a part of the, the bullpen rotation right there. Uh, his name is Crown TZ. All right, and then we come back here. Once he's in the rotation, you come over to single player modes, play versus CPU, and now... I just keep it on the Orioles, um, but you have to play this game with your pitcher. So you pick the field you want to play at, and then you come down here for your starting pitcher. I pick Crown TZ, and I'll just let my bad lineup stay the same. And I'm going to actually play this solo right here. So this is going to load pretty quickly. Um, and there's my team name, Arizona Galaxy. You can see we got Kenny Lofton, Aaron Judge, Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis. We got a pretty decent lineup. And... Um, Guys, don't make fun of me, so I don't even know how to use the pitcher meter or the batting meter. It's kind of sad because I watch videos of people using the pitcher and the batting meter, and this is all I know how to do is just push the A button and throw strikes because I tried to do the pitcher meter, but I just I was throwing the ball all over the place and nowhere I wanted to throw it, and this just seems to be the easiest for me at my first year on Xbox. So, all right, so we're going to get three outs right quick. All right, there goes one. All right, let me just throw the ball down the middle. Hopefully, he hits the ball out. All right, you're not going to hit it. And, guys, it's so bad. Like, I'm so new to this game. 
I don't even know how to give my pitcher other slots to um, to make other slots to throw other pitches. So I'm going to have to watch a video on YouTube on that. Um, sh shout out if you made that video. You can leave it in the comment section. But yeah, I haven't even figured out how to make other pitches yet. All I've been doing is the XP. That's how, how bad I am at the game so far right now. But I played baseball back in middle school. And I know a little bit about baseball. Um, because I grew up collecting baseball cards. So, And we get the ground out there. Alright, throw the first. It's not a web jam, but we get the dub. Alright, so once you play the first game, you get the first inning. Boom. Start up the second inning. And once you see a player come up, hit boom, confirm, quit. Now... Once you go to confirm quit, you're gonna back all the way out. Now you gotta remember if the if the game like glitches out or it says server cannot be found, you gotta go back in and do this again. You have to see this screen right here. You gotta get this screen and you gotta see this screen. If you don't get these two screens, then it's not gonna work for you. But once you get that, you come back over to roll to the show, and you just go ahead and load up, and it's loading up the wrong person. Jesus Christ. All right, we got to cancel that. We got to load up this one. Load up our 1938 one. Our 2038 one. All right, once we load it up, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to play. And we're going to go to play next. And we're just going to go into the next game. Now, once you get to a certain point, um, you still got to do these. Would you like to do these? But I just go ahead and click on any of these. Um, whichever one makes it goes the fast and doesn't load up anything. So boom, we get that. And then we go ahead and hit to the game. We got to get past this screen. Once we get past that screen, we go play game. We pick our loadout, active loadout right here. All right. And guys, if you know what this negative five percentage CFD drain means, um, I don't even know what that means. If you guys can help me out with what that means, I have no idea if you can leave it in the comment section. Um, but once you get into the game, you're here, you hit start, you go to exit, you hit simulate, exit to end. You heard, you heard him push the B button on Xbox. I think it's a circle button on PlayStation. But then you get out of that screen, and then boom, we got the win. We got six in this pitch and eight strikeouts, and we go to confirm exit. And now look at this. So, all right, and... It says no rewards right there, but you can see progress. So if you hit the RB button right here, you see progress. It says big train. Remember, we were at 50%. Now it's at 58%. So innings pitch, six increase, 140 strikeouts. We're close to that one. 120 innings pitch. We're close to that one. Or we have finished that one right there. So we got more points. And now if we come back to exit here, we go to advance, and we just go back to that same timeline thing. We go to my player. My, my ball player load out and then we hit X right here you see here I was at 50 when the video started but now I'm at 59 and I'm closer to getting this perk pack this diamond equipment and more stubs right here and then I, these are also stubs as well too so that's how you do that and that's gonna go like this is 11,000 uh, XP but right here, you also get 11,000 XP at 600 stubs. Right here, you get 11,000 XP. And right here, you get 11,000 XP. And the cool thing about these diamond packs, like sometimes, like I got one that was 50,000 for some diamond equipment. That was 50,000 stubs. Even the XP is all good too, but you get stubs and your XP. And right here, I got another one that was like 20,000. And these gold ones be decent too. Sometimes you get like 2,000, 3,000. And that one as well too. All right, but... That is the glitch. That is how I finished the first inner program. I literally finished it in 24 hours. So I started, I was at about 45,000 XP, and now I just finished at 650,000 XP over this X double XP weekend. It took me about nonstop grinding for 24 hours to actually do it, though. I got tired. I wanted to make a video last night. I was like, nope, I'm going to bed, wake up in the morning, make a video. And that's what I just did right now. I made the video for you guys. All right. All right, guys. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys go out and make all your own XP. Have a great day. Even better tomorrow. And we'll see you later. Peace out, my Gs.